What's going on, beautiful, wonderful people out there, my most intelligent, wonderful, and wondrous friends and family alike. Welcome to the Bad Wolf Show. Now, if you guys have not followed me on my other YouTube channel, which is the Bad Wolf Media Channel, please do so now. Go ahead, I'll wait. Oh, hit the bell like and subscribe before you guys, you know, go over there and do that on that channel. All right. Appreciate that in advance. All right, guys. So once again, all things Bad Wolf, if you guys want to um, make sure you're not being scammed by other people pretending to be me, consultations, free files, uh, products, merchandise, um, notary, things to help you guys out with, you know, payments and education and whatnot, go check out BlackSite32.com. All things, all roads lead to BlackSite32. All right, in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about taking control of the ownership of your children. Now, as always, none of this is legal advice. This is just information. Please make sure that you guys do your own vetting of the information and always operate as a neutral, peaceful person, non-belligerent, non-combatant, like your favorite man in dark blue and black, I guess, at this point in time. Though I'm always wearing almond. Um, so <clears throat> now a lot of us know that the state of all of them together are a PMA, it's a private members association. They're so large that, that everybody in their group is called the public. They get jurisdiction over us and our children when we, cause there's no law that requires biological mothers and fathers to register their offspring to a corporation that would be slavery and if they force you to do things without paying you that's peonage it's a federal crime slavery prostitution trafficking all that stuff is illegal in the united states of america so what they're doing is, is they're bringing the children, us and whoever else in as members. They're just members, okay? Members. So though you should comply with your county and have the birth recorded, you do not have to have a state of birth certificate. That's why the hospital offers you the heirloom version. And yes, though it is expensive, it is money well spent. And no, they will not typically add the cost of that to your bill. Okay, this is the scam. This is the, the setup, the rig up, all in its own. Buy it. Otherwise, they'll offer you the certificate of live birth. Okay, so now it's not, it's it's a certification that is of the live birth so it is not the live birth but it's of so for normal purposes and things it is valid and can be used anywhere but the lady will sneak in there or slither in there and say oh the state says you have to have you have to get a birth certificate really see now we call these ninja babies ninja births okay when you have one without getting that particular document all right. Watch that video for that information on how to take care of that. We're not going to go over that here. So please watch the other video and other videos alike. All right. So when you want to take control over your children, one of the best things you can do is not bring them in with the birth certificate. You have other documents. Now, you can use those documents to do other things. Now, they may ask you, well, you need to prove residency with, you know, um, mail and things of that nature, which to a degree you are then pulling them in. Unfortunately, if you're going to dance with the devil and you want the benefits and privileges, you're not going to make it too far without these things. All right. Now, there are other ways around it. For instance, you know, you have your certificate of live birth. You can then go and create either an entity with a taxable or tax exempt status um, with the IRS by going to irs.gov and getting one for free versus going to the states. Um, 
And once you do that, you'll have an EIN that you can use and have your child operate that entity versus having one from the states. Okay. Now, here's what I would do if that's already past the point. Now, it's not to say that you still cannot utilize those privileges. But if you're already there, and let's just say hypothetically you're dealing with, I don't know, some agency that, um, you know, might want to come knocking on there and saying that they can do this and they can do that. Well, as we talked about in some other videos, one of the first things I would do is I would obtain the birth certificate that they issued you and I would get it authenticated. To authenticate means to be made free and to be removed from the Hague or H-G-U-E, -H Hague Convention or paperwork jurisdiction, okay, that's owned by those people. So once you authenticate that, that is now, not only in general, is having that document, your proof that you are the beneficiary over those children, having their birth certificate, having that certificate gives you the claim. If an officer says, you need to prove to me that you have the right to own that gun. Here's my receipt. Here's my uh, license to carry or the constitution in this case, depending on your case. These are my licenses. These, these are my abilities. Either it's a license or my privilege, my right to have this. I have the ownership. Here's a paper proving so. Prove to me you own this house, Wolf. Well, I have the mortgage right here. All right, here's a copy of the promissory note. Okay, so the document itself is power. But what they would argue, if they would make it that far, is that, well, it was issued by the state. See? And I would say, okay, I, I will see you that it was issued by the state and raise you. Where's your copy? Where does your name appear on anything? What did I ever sign that gave you that jurisdiction? Right? Once again, they'll try to rebut with, well, when you got the birth certificate, Thank you from the thing you mean to me. That's why, even though that paper does give you ownership, or should I say control, you've already had ownership by God's grace, biological attachment, that you are the biological donors, mother and father, not an informant. That's why they want you to check off informant there. You're not an informant. You're not a parent. You're not a pair of renters. You are the owners, the creators. So my argument was would be, well, first of all, you need to have a contract or a copy of each child's birth certificate and show me where that gives them gives you or the state physical jurisdiction over my creation. So the next thing you should do is go and get it authenticated. Now, this is not, let me say this correctly. If you are, in fact, hurting or abusing your child or whatever else, and it can be proven, then you, your children should be taken away from you for their protection. So this is not something that you can use to be like, oh, I can just do this. Blah, blah, blah. Because public safety is always a concern. All right. Now, some of these agencies are, in fact, abusing it. Child has a bruise. Oh, we're taking your kids. Uh... You know, somebody made a claim, oh, we're taking your kids. Your house isn't perfect, oh, we're taking your kids. It's not all that's supposed to work. So one of the things that you have to then look at is authenticating the birth certificate. Remove that piece from their jurisdiction. Now, the next thing that I would do is I would create an affidavit of biological ownership. I would place in that affidavit such things as your child's name in all caps, upper and lower, all lowercase. I would use, I would then say their private names or their given names would be instead of James C. Lovett, all caps, whatever else, I would then put James Charles of the House of Lovett or James Cash Money, James, whatever it is of the nation. And I would say this is their living person their private name, this is their legal name for legal purposes. And I would say these are their birth dates as opposed to the birth creation date of the document called the birth certificate. Um, you can also give them a faith-based name. I would put on there that they are a states, they were born a state citizen in uh, Florida, it would be a Floridian. 
I would put on there that um, they're also nationals of the United States of America. They operate under the jurisdiction of the Constitution or a constitutional citizen. I would say that all rights, ownership, control over them belong to you, your wife, uh, your grandparents, however you want to set that up. I would put a family logo on there, any other pertinent information. Um, you know, mimic the certificate of live birth. If they're small enough, put their baby feet print on there. If not, put a thumbprint on there. I would um, put age at the time of this the creation of this document, um, or you could like not, you can backdate it, say it was done then, but then have it notarized as of today. Um, I would put any birthmarks, et cetera, et cetera, on there. I'd make a couple copies, and then I would go and get it notarized. Um, you can even go as far as after you get it notarized to then also um, have it authenticated by the Department of State using a DS-4194. Once you do that, now you have demonstrated that you have equity. As a matter of fact, also what I would put in there, like a UCC section, or I just I would put in there like a lien. I wouldn't say a lien, but I would say value of our child, you know, um, fifty million dollars, okay, and that you stand first in line, first in time as the creator of this, which really your child is priceless. But you know, you got to put a monetary value on there, um, and I would say payable in gold, and if not payable in gold, then it's two hundred and fifty million dollars Federal Reserve notes. Why not? They're your children. So educational information only you guys move and do how you guys want to do, but you have just created your own document, your own declaration. Nobody else has that, especially if you are the original parents. Create it. Now, <clears throat> what you could also then do is put an ad in a paper and just say that you've created this, you've done this. Keep a notice of that so that you can say, look, I put this out here in the public. Not that you have to, but it's a good thing to do so that you can squash any type of little ways that they want to try to have any claims. And keep that and keep a master copy of that somewhere safe in a you know lockbox or whatever else, or a safe itself, vault, whatever. And then have your other one somewhere else. As a matter of fact, you have a lawyer or a bank, you can put that all that with your goodies in the bank's you know box. I would keep like a a Bible, like a master Bible. Um of your information can keep this safe but i essentially have one here where all of my main things are kept so that way should something occur somebody who you trust hopefully will find that and know where everything is and what you want all done okay that's how you would do it so keep that safe all right so that's really it this youtube site me i work on preventive Preventive maintenance or preventing things, prevention is the key. Have things set up before something occurs. Don't sit around, oh, it's a good, it's a good video, but and no, I don't have that exact file. I do have some for birth records, uh, but you guys should make that, you know, yourselves. It should be custom to how you guys want them to be made. They don't have to be perfect. Matter of fact, they don't even have to go buy legal stuff. And you know what I would also do? Um, because we know that everything that is legal, which typically legal means within the corporation. That's why there's a difference between statutes and laws, but that's another video. Everything that they do comes in portrait format. Every document that they provide, portrait formal. Everything authenticated or American or free comes in landscape. So I would create a landscaped document. Put it all, all of it this way, boom, 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 boom. Make numerous copies. You can get them laminated, you can get them whatever. Um, you can put them on, you know, the nicer, like, um, uh, thicker paper or like bond type paper. Back in there. Okay, you know, whatever. You're going to be note paper. You know, I'll go back in the printer. Um, so that's what I would do. Now, for those people who are having 
issues, what I would recommend is that if you feel that the state and or whatever specific agency are bullying you, understand that you do have rights. And I would definitely say you should go and talk to a an expert lawyer or attorney um, in those particular fields. However, keep in mind that also you have the remedy of suing them for your children's return, excuse me, your offspring, they call them children, um, for their return in federal court using the federal uh, federal civil um, rule, federal rules of civil procedure, okay? So look that up, how to sue in federal court. We also made a video on that. We're gonna make some videos on the inner mechanics of that at some future time. I know I'm a little bit behind on that particular video, um, but those will be coming. I've been bringing you guys other stuff because you get distracted, there's so much. There's a lifetime of, of it, videos I could make. I'm trying to only bring you guys the really good, powerful stuff you guys can use daily. Um, remember, I do not do court cases. I do not do the bond stuff. Matter of fact, if you guys want information on the bonds, um, how much they're worth, and et cetera, et cetera, uh, check out blacksite32.com and look at the uh, resources page. Or you guys can contact um, uh, Sean Adley at mortgage um, auditsonline.com. Make mention that you talk to the bad wolf or you've seen this particular other videos. And you can ask him what he has available for free information and whatever else. Okay. So for all the resources, check out Blackside32, go to resource page. My social media is on there. You can find me on all the other platforms and whatnot. Uh telegram groups, et cetera, et cetera. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I would put together your own document and that way, as long as you guys are being good um biological donors mothers and fathers out there, okay, don't let them take away your, your God-given rights and titles, then you should be good. If they see clear signs of abuse, you know, then, and then you, that, that they are going to, they're going to try to step in and do something. All right. Otherwise, everything else they have to try to prove. And the biggest thing here is ensuring that if you're going to argue that they are not, in fact, um, residents of the state they are not 14th amendment u.s citizens but they are private um natural persons under your ownership uh then you can inform them that they need to come back with a judge signed warrant from the um article three meaning judicial not a corporation corporate article one warrant for the person you can look these laws up on uh, cornell law edu and whatever else they have to have a judicially signed warrant from an article three court for the possession to take any of your possessions especially a living being now when i say any possession understand that if your vehicle is registered to them or your house is still registered it's not in a trust etc then yes, you've agreed that this can be. So essentially the registration technically would be the birth certificate, which is why you're authenticating it. Um, also in your document for them, you could put in that this it voids any and all um, assumed contracts, anything seen, unseen, heard, unheard, what do they call that? Um, adhesion contracts, anything attached in the back, that you don't know about, okay, this voids it. I swear as owner that I am revoking anything that was implied. Okay, so that's how I would do that. Educational information only. Remember guys, all, all these, anything that you generate is your property. The constitution allows you to contract privately, to have your own uh, property, your own purse, private natural living person. Your offspring are the fruits of your labor. These are your things. You do not have to register them. If you want their stuff, though, then you are forming a temporary agreement, temporary contract, temporary accord. Anything that I would have on there, um, you know, I might put a, an expiration date somewhere in there. I might put temporary contract, you know, 
um, or all rights reserved, UCC 1-308, okay? Protect your rights, protect your freedom, protect your liberties. All right, guys, that's it. Wow.